Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the numericals on even and odd part of the given signal. Okay. So basically, the question is like, you know, determine the even and odd parts of the given signal. So first we have x of n is equal to 3 to the power n. So we have to determine the even part and the odd part. So let's go for the even part first. So even part which is basically denoted as what xc of n right. So what is the formula for this 1 by 2 right x of n plus x of minus n right so this becomes what 1 by 2 x of n means 3 to the power n plus x of minus n means 3 to the power minus n so this is what even part right now let's calculate the odd part so for odd part this is a simple example next is the complex one don't worry so odd part so x naught of n is equal to what what is the formula for odd part 1 by 2 right x of n minus x of minus n right so this becomes what 1 by 2 okay 3 to the power n minus 3 to the power minus n okay so hope this is clear to you so basically this is what even part for a signal x of n is equal to 3 to the power n and this is what odd part for a signal xn is equal to 3 to the power n so hope these things are clear to you now let's took a bit complex example fine so we have another signal which is basically x of n is equal to what 3 into e to the power j pi n by 5 right so as we know as we know that e to the power j omega n can be written as cos omega n plus j sin omega n sin omega n so this particular part so basically 3 e to the power j pi by 5 into n this can be written as what so this can be written as 3 into so cos pi by 5 n plus j into sin pi by 5 n okay we are using this formula this particular formula okay so hope this much is clear to you now you can say like x of n becomes what here 3 cos pi by 5 n right plus j 3 sin pi by 5 n am i right i hope this much is pretty much clear to you okay fine now let's go further and calculate x of minus n also let's calculate x of minus n also because we are going to use in the even part and odd part calculation so this will become what 3 cos minus pi by 5 n okay plus j3 sin what minus pi by 5 n clear so x of minus n will become what so this this will become simple 3 cos 
pi by 5 n and sine of minus pi by 5 n this will become minus will this will become minus sine pi by 5 n right so finally you will get a3 sine pi by 5 n so how it becomes this you should know the trigonometric formulas okay so simply it was like sine of minus pi by 5 n so it becomes minus sine pi by 5 n fine and cos of minus pi by 5 n it is what simply equal to cos of cos pi by 5 n okay fine so this is what x of minus n so we have x of n we have x of minus n both things are there now let's move and calculate the even part and odd part okay so tell me the formula for even part even part so even part xc of n is equal to what 1 by 2 into x of n plus x of minus n am i right so you can write it this like 1 by 2 what is x of n this thing correct so 3 cos pi by 5 n plus j3 sin pi by 5 n okay plus x of minus n so 3 cos pi by 5 n okay minus j3 sin pi by 5 n clear so what will happen here this and this gone right this minus this zero so this two gone so what is pending this and this now what will happen here this is equal to what 1 by 2 so 3 plus 3 6 so 6 cos pi by 5 n okay now this becomes what 3 cos pi by 5 and so this is what this is basically even part so we calculated the even part so you can say this is what basically an even part hope this thing is clear to you right now let's go to the odd part fine now we are going to calculate the odd part okay so what is the formula for odd part calculation so odd part x not of n this is equal to basically 1 by 2 x of n minus x of minus n so this will become what 1 by 2 3 cos so cos pi by 5 n plus j 3 sin pi by 5 n okay minus x of minus n so this will become minus 3 cos pi by 5 n and plus j 3 sin pi by 5 n okay so what will cancel out here this and this so what is pending this two so if you sum up this two so what will happen this will be equal to 1 by 2 3 plus 3 6 so j 6 sin pi by 5 n okay so this will become this will become j 3 sin pi by 5 n this is what an odd part so we calculated the odd part also this we calculated the odd part also so we calculated the odd part and the even part for this signal x of n which